Retrospect includes the ability to create a bootable disaster recovery disk image. This can be used in the event of a total system crash of either the backup server or the client. This video will walk you through the steps that are involved in creating that bootable disk image. First thing you'll do is open Retrospect and go to Backup, and then go to the option that says Disaster Recovery. Then click on Next. You'll then need to click the blue link that says Download Microsoft Windows AIK Image. After you click that link, a web browser will open on your screen. The download will either start automatically or you can click on the option to start downloading right away. We typically recommend saving the image to your desktop for easy access later on. Once the image starts to download, you'll need to wait for it to finish. This will take several minutes. Once the download is done, you can close your web browser, and then you'll see your image on the desktop. Now this is a ISO image that needs to be burned to a CD using your choice of CD burning software. Once this image is burned to a CD, you can then use the installer included with it to install the Microsoft Windows AIK onto your machine. So we insert the CD that we've burned, and then we double click on the CD, and it'll either auto start, or if it doesn't auto start, then you can choose the option to start the CD.exe. Then you'll notice the second choice that says Windows AIK install. You'll click on that and then that will open the installer for the Microsoft Windows AIK. Once it opens, click on Next, accept the license agreement, click on Next, and then click on Next next again, and then let the installation uh, run its course. Once the install is done, click Close. You can close the other windows. And then return to Retrospect. Cancel the wizard. Then click on Disaster Recovery, and then click on Next. You'll then need to select the location where you want to save the disasterrecovery.iso file so that you can burn it to a CD later on. Click on Browse, and it may be the easiest thing to do is just save it on your desktop. And then click Next. And then the Prepare for Disaster Recovery wizard will continue and build the disk image that you'll need later on. You'll be able to use this bootable disk image after it's been burned to a CD. Once it gets burned to the CD, you can use it on both a client machine or on the backup server itself. Once the wizard completes, you just need to click Done, and then burn the ISO image to a CD, and now you're ready for doing a restore.